Welcome to the sixth annual PRISM Awards for Photonics Innovation. One of the common threads that we have all of us together in this room is a respect for, and in most cases, a serious quest for innovation. SPIE and Photonics Media are delighted to recognize some of the most innovative new products and the companies that build them tonight. Presenting the PRISM Award for Scientific Lasers is the president and CEO of Shasta Crystals, which develops modified laser-heated pedestal growth technology to grow crystals for visible lasers. Her company is operating a pilot-scale manufacturing facility here in San Francisco. She's been involved in materials research for many years after earning a PhD in physics from Lyon, France, and then working as a manager at Silicon Light Machines, a subsidiary of Cypress Semiconductors. She's not only an expert at crystal growth, but also at business growth. Her company was nominated for a PRISM Award in 2009 for its innovative process to grow crystals used in laser systems. Please welcome Giselle Maxwell to present the PRISM Award for Scientific Lasers. Thank you, Peter, and also thank you, Pamela, and all of the SPIE staff for organizing this amazing event and uh, having it every year. Um, it's a great honor to be here tonight, and um, I would also like to actually to thank the judges because as I learned that I was going to be a presenter, I looked at the finalists in my category and decided to walk to their booth and familiar, get familiar with uh, the products they were uh, presenting. And I learned a lot. And uh, as I walked away, I thought, geez, I'm glad I wasn't a judge because I would not have been able to make a good decision there. So. Scientific lasers is a category that I relate uh, to uh, in particular because as a crystal grower, um, it's a very um, multidisciplinary uh, area. And scientific lasers take the work and collaboration of many disciplines. They historically have been the backbone of many applications in medicine, communications, sensing, defense, and so on. And they still are today pushing the boundaries of our knowledge and capabilities in laser technology. New wavelengths, higher powers, shorter pulses, all are made possible now thanks to the hard work of dedicated scientists and engineers. Our three finalists tonight are a prime example of this dedication. The three cutting edge products selected are a petawatt femtosecond laser, a coherent continuous wave source tunable across the visible range, and a wideable tunable CW solid state laser that covers the orange to red wavelength range. So let's take a look at our finalists. Lasers are the innovation that enabled and boosted the entire field of photonics. We found there were a lot of people who wanted a widely tunable solid state laser to replace their diode lasers. But with a small team, 10 years, lots of tests and long nights, it happened. So this is great because I always wanted to say this. And the winner is... Hobner. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are very proud to receive this highly recognized award. I'm very happy um, because I think this is recognition of a special collaboration well within the front of a model. So we did about a decade of basic research on optical materials to optimize them, to make them ready to use. 
embedded into a very rich community, including Stanford, for example. And then, about a year ago, the company Hypnor approached us and we did a joint development. And we're very happy that we have these days really the ability to show here a functional device which underlines that the time is ready for more nonlinear optics. Before it was very delicate, you had many knobs to tune. Now you have ready to press a button, it works. And I think we will see more nonlinear optics in the future. Thank you very much for this recognition. We want to see photonics at work in the world, improving lives, improving manufacturing. We're in a globe of limited resources. We have energy issues. We have health issues. Photonics can contribute greatly to improving the world. SPIE tries really to connect the researchers with the problems. You tonight are innovators who have brought the research forward into products, products that will end up in the hands of people in factories, improving manufacturing, that will end up in the hands of healthcare specialists, improving health, that will end up in research labs, understanding and beating back disease. We thank you for that. Thank you.